Hi, my name is Ray Chambers and in this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use the speech recognition within your application so that you can change a text box or choose which item you're going to drag and drop. Now, the first thing you'll need to do with this sample when you download it is to add in your own speech recognition files. So if you go into references, you'll need to remove my existing ones. Okay, and then you're going to need to add them back in. Now if you've installed the free files to set up the speech recognition that I put in the shared area, you'll be fine. So all you need to do is go to add reference and search through your drive, so mine is in C, program files, so I open that up, and go down, and there should be a Microsoft speech platform, so we're going to go in there, assembly, going to highlight those two and add them in, and you should see them both appear here. I'm just going to minimize this. Now, I'm going to go to the code and just explain a few things. If I go to the top, these are the things I've added in to help me with this audio. So, I've got Microsoft Connect Audio, Speech Recognition, Speech Audio, System Threading, System Input Output. I've also added in the recorder ID, audio source, sound recognition, and audio thread. And also, at the beginning of my program starting, I've initialized the speech to detect it, okay? If you look here, I've got my function for initializing the speech. And this is where you can add in lots of different things. So, here's the first command I've got in, which is one. Um, I could change it to anything I like, which I will be showing you in a minute. If I go down, I've got Start Audio Listening, and you can see that's been used up here as well. All right, and this basically listens to hear if there's a sound. And then if I go further down, I've got what it wants you to do when it hears that audio. So what I've got at the moment is 1, and show a message box that says 1. And if I play that, you should see that work. So if I run it, one, and there you go. So I'm just going to stop that. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can change that. So if I scroll down, to the first thing which says one. I'm going to change this to Apple and make sure you keep it all lowercase. And I'm also going to add a command in called orange. Delete that so you can still see the comments there. Okay, if I go down, what I have here is if you hear one, well the program's not actually going to hear one, it's going to hear Apple. And what I want it to do is change my text box. So this text box here, look what it's called. Text instructions. So what I'm going to do is go back to it. If that's equal to Apple, then txt instructions dot text equals Apple. Then I'm going to add another one in, else, if e result dot text dot to lower equals orange and e result dot confidence is greater than or equal to 85%. Then, txt instructions, helps if I spell that right, 
equals orange else I'm just going to have text instructions dot text equals waiting for audio so now if I run that if I say apple and orange you should notice the text box update so if I press play orange apple orange apple so I'm just going to stop that now and I'm also going to show you how you can get your program to move either the orange or the apple around the screen if I go back to our original code so if I just find this scroll down the screen if you remember in our last program I showed you how to do drag and drop and that's dragging image one around at the moment so what you need to do is make sure that if the hand is above the head then you're going to check what the text box is saying so if text instructions dot text equals equals apple let me put my equals apple then that should be apple else if text instructions dot text equals equals orange we're going to do the same but this one's obviously going to be called orange now that's gave me an error so we'll go and check what it's actually called image one so I'm just going to rename this orange go back and there we have it but that will give us an error if it's anything else so we need to put in something else else if it's anything else do nothing so now what will happen if I say Apple the text box will change to Apple but if I move my left hand above my head it will move the apple around but if I say orange it will start moving the orange around so if I just compile this now but and start debugging it I'm just going to make sure the connect sensor can see me Apple. There you go. Orange. Apple. Orange. If I stop that. Now hopefully that sample itself will be useful for you and that you'll be able to go and program your own speech recognition applications. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to explain how the speech recognition itself was set up but I'm hoping that the sample should start you off. Um, if you have any queries or any questions just email me or 
contact me through my blog raychambers.wordpress.com. Hope that's helpful.